Um, um, yeah, uh, I see we got the one legs here too. <laughs> um, so, uh, we actually have an area for you. We do. Um, let's see, uh, I mean, I'm happy to sort of answer questions that you might have or, uh, yeah. How did it go in there? <laughs> it seemed to go pretty well. I mean, it seemed, seemed to be well received. Um, you know, I definitely sort of, you know, also just try, trying to get um, support for selling cars, being able to properly sell cars in Texas, and you know, which we, we, we're not currently allowed to do. As you guys know, it's sort of like slightly convoluted, you know, sort of order it through California, this doesn't make sense. Um, and, uh, and you know, we're just looking for, fundamentally for people in Texas to have the right to, to decide how they want to buy their car. You know, so that's that's really what we're aiming for in terms of the legislative change. Any sales um, tax incentive? Um, that may be a bridge too far. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think if, if step one, if we can sell the cars, pro you know, uh, properly in Texas, then that would be a huge win. Um, so. Um, you know, right now we're essentially that we're selling cars through word of mouth. It's through you guys. So yeah, thanks for thanks for spreading the word of mouth. I presume uh, you pulled your punches on on the hypocrisy of the current laws. Um, well, not, I'm not sure I pulled them pulled my punches all that much, but um, I, I definitely uh, the laws don't make a ton of sense. And I, I did sort of exp I try to explain like why is this law in place? Because people understand like why was it put there in the first place? And the reason the law is there. It was originally put in place for a just cause, which is um, the, the, the big car companies were trying to disenfranchise their franchise dealers. Um, particularly Ford under Jack Nasser put a lot of pressure under the, uh, on, on the, the car dealers to, to sell their franchises back to, to, the, comp to the, 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 the corporate parent at, at, a, cut, at, at a really far, far you know, low price. Um, and, um, and so the, the, the the auto dealers went to the state legislature to seek protection uh, for these sort of nefarious uh, actions, and they and they got that protection. But the, the law was overly broad and prevented even new car companies that had never granted a franchise and were just selling direct from from being able to to sell cars. Um, so now the auto dealers are, are using a law that was put in place for a just cause. Uh, they are using it for an unjust cause, which is not right. Um, so I think it's important for legislators to understand the right. The, Original rationale for the law and why uh, it made sense, uh, you know, it, it you know, and, and was it was a just thing then, but is in fact an unjust thing now. Um, a company that, is, that that has never grant, granted a franchise should not be forced to do so. Yeah, you know, I mean, most other businesses and franchises dealt on a commercial basis, so that's one thing that I understand. Yeah, um, and, and there's something wide range of things. I mean, um, you know, McDonald's has both franchises and company-owned stores. Um, and uh, those, those are okay, um, and we're not forced to franchise in any other part of the world. And I did point out that there's a fundamental conflict of interest for, for the dealer groups. If they're making the vast majority of their money from selling gasoline cars, particularly with gas prices being so low, um, it's really difficult for them to argue or, or you know, to, to, to install the benefits of electric vehicles. That they just that they're, they would be shooting themselves in the foot uh, financially. So um, it's not as though that's 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 actually a path that would would work. Uh, right now, maybe at some point in the future, but it certainly wouldn't work today when electric cars is such a small percentage of the market. We do one well, more question. With, with, with the price of gas down now, people are short sighted. So, do you think it's going to impact like further research and development and battery and even all other alternative you know, power sources? You mind looking over here? Sure. Um, sorry, the link it will be. You think it'll impact the, the electric cars? around bat battery, ne next generation battery development, or just use, use of alternative the current resources? Sure. The low, um, price, the low price of gas. Yeah, I, I think the, the low price of gra gas is certainly uh, unhelpful for um, you know electric cars, but but it's it's not it's not a night and day thing. Um, it it does reduce the economic forcing function to go electric. Um, and in general, I think uh, to just create a much bigger risk of, of, a, of a climate, you know, a, a real serious climate problem, uh, because the the, the 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 extractable oil and gas is probably ten times more than it was before. Um, so whatever uh, issues would have been caused by um, X amount of CO2 in atmosphere and oceans, if now if it's 10x, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be ten times more, more significant. Um, and um, yeah, but, but I think the, 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 really the key to successful electric cars is just to make sure that we produce compelling cars at, at, a, price, at, at a price that makes sense. So it's 
long as the, the electric car is is the best car for, for a given price, I don't think there'll be any problem with, with, with the Mac. Um, it might take a little longer, but, but, but the, as long as the, the price to value make, is there, um, electric cars will succeed. We love our Model X. So. Yeah. Thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, we'll get Tesla in automobile racing, hopefully. We'll show those uh, gas powered cars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we might do that at some point. Yeah. So, all right, How's thanks. the battery spot going? Uh, it's good. Um, we actually just had that operating in California right now. So, we'll see what the demand is for the tax swap. And, um, I mean, I, I, I really I'm inclined to believe that high speed charging is, is really the best way to go. Um, but um, but if we're, we're going to deploy the tax swap and then let the market decide. But we'll see what the side one. Thank you for coming to Texas. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I, I, I've got to I've got to head out. Um, so thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.